guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided with taking all of the Christmas stuff down that I would go ahead and show you how I was putting up, I would say maybe normal <laughs> decor. And one thing that I really love to use is a lot of greenery and just bringing life into a room. Obviously all of this is fake. Um, it's not real greenery, but whenever it gets to be spring, I wanna add in some real greenery and probably some other things, but this is kind of just to replace the Christmas decor that I took down. The first thing I really like to do is lay all of my stuff out, even whenever I'm decorating for the holidays. Kind of helps me get an idea of everything I have and it kind of piques my creativity as far as where I want to put things in the house. And don't be afraid to use things to prop things up like you just saw me put that bag into the flower pot. It's something that you can use that's inexpensive that you have around. I use shopping bags a lot to kind of make things look fuller or just to fill things. A lot of you ask for my decor tips or you know ways that you can decorate and one tip I'll give you is you don't always have to have everything centered like you see here my quote sign is a little bit off center um, another thing I wanted to tell you is you can always trim your fake plants um, obviously they're not gonna grow back for you but it's something that if it got busted in storage or it's just not looking the way that you want it to you can kind of take your own twist on it it and make it look a little bit more fresh. This is a tip I've given in the past, and that is to take a garland and cut it all up, especially garlands from Hobby Lobby because whenever they are half off, you can really get them at an inexpensive price. And then you can take those little pieces that you cut up from the garland and stick them in anything you want to. I rotate these pieces a lot. This time I decided to put them in a basket. And as you saw, I put a hand towel in the bottom of the basket just to kind of support the greens. Again, kind of like the shopping bag idea. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of a base to start out with and as you can see I even had more pieces of this boxwood that I can tuck into other places if I want to. Swapping out pillows or throw blankets is always a nice way to freshen up a space as well. This basket piece I was so excited about. If you guys caught the vlog where I found this at a thrift store, it was actually from Pier One Imports and I got it for a dollar. And I just think it brings a nice natural tone into my kitchen along with the little um, greeneries from Ikea.
my girls love coffee and once in a while I make them some decaf coffee and I found these cute little cups over the holidays. I thought they were perfect because they were so neutral and they work great for their little hands with their own little cup of coffee. Okay, so here is what happens whenever I decorate. I rearrange and rearrange and rearrange <laughs> until I find the perfect spots for each thing. And I like things to look balanced, as you're gonna see here. Um, I swapped some things around. I wanted to add that hello sign in, but um, yeah, I just had to kind of make all of the textures and everything looked balanced. So when I slid these books over um, above the other books, I didn't really want them to be on the same side. So then I pushed the books to the other side, if that makes sense. A great little filler that you can actually collect yourself if you drink wine or you can purchase these even is wine corks and these are also something you can put inside of something to support greenery as well. I know this video wasn't super long but it's highly requested so I thought I would put it together and of course I probably will do another video similar to this in the spring. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video.